All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome. Let's just dive into it. You already know why you are here. How to capitalize on Amazon during lockdown, even if you have no idea what to sell yet. Let's get it cracking. Uh, so my goal for putting all of this together for you guys who have been asking me is to show you exactly what's going on with Amazon and why it's actually a great time and actually the best time I've ever seen to get into FBA and how to take advantage quickly during this lockdown situation to get in while you're stuck at home and you can do this all while you're home. Um, so, okay, I got a couple more people joining right now. I'm letting you in. Uh, so at the end of this, when you stay to the end, I'm going to give you guys something very cool that I have uh, been charging for. I wrote a whole ebook um, case study of one of my biggest products that made me 100K in one year. But that's only if you stay to the end. This is going to be, I've organized this like a real college lecture. So treat this as you're in real school. Um, please turn off your phone. Please take notes. Please get into a quiet area if you have not done that yet and take notes. Um, a quiet area that you can be in for a good hour plus, depending on how Q&A goes at the end. Okay, it looks like everyone is in now. A couple more people were in the waiting list. All right, let's get into it. So if, first of all, who am I real quick? Who is your professor of the day? If you don't know me, my name is Riley Bennett, and I've been selling on Amazon full-time since 2015. I am the founder of my YouTube channel and podcast called Living That Life with over 50,000 subscribers, over 9 million views on YouTube, I must add. I forgot to add that. And uh, I founded my Amazon uh, school in 2016 through popular demand because my subscribers and viewers were saying, Okay, Riley, how are you traveling the world full time? How do you, how are you fucking not have a job? How are you doing this? So I created my school because I love teaching. And they were asking me, that's what you do. And then I also founded by popular demand my Amazon marketing agency, which does uh, launches for other brands and as well as consulting. So that's been my other journey this past uh, recent, in recent years. Um, quit my job in 2014, having gone back to a corporate job since, and I spent most of the year out in tropical Asia. Digital nomad style. Uh, and now I'm basically on a mission to give back with other entrepreneurs and um, you know, uh, e-commerce hustlers and, and YouTubers have given to me, which is show me these different business models where you can hack the system and... Um, Create your own independent income, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, who is Parker? Parker is my best friend. He is the co-founder of my Amazon business, my agency, um, and our Amazon school. And uh, my best friend, I grew up down the street from him. And he's going to be also, um, he's my partner in crime. And also we have Payman here. Payman, are you there? I'm here. Yep. Payment is uh, our other local expert, so go ahead and uh, introduce yourself, Payment. So, uh, yeah, I'm an entrepreneur by heart, for as long as I can remember. Uh, I spent the past five years living in China and Hong Kong. I was very involved in the e-commerce scene, especially Amazon, and while I was there, I was uh, uh, part of a team, and we built together a brand on Amazon. I was the one uh, in charge of all the sourcing. I was going for months at a time uh, once, twice a week, visiting factories, suppliers, the EU markets, uh, on and off for, for months at a time. So I have a very extensive experience when it comes to dealing with suppliers, manufacturers in China. And uh, also, as I said, I was very active in the uh, e-commerce field and seen there. I not only attended those to help organize, hosted, and even organize some events myself on e-commerce. I was an FBA, 
Um, I was I even uh, was asked to speak at some events. I was living in Hangzhou, which is the uh, where the headquarters of Alibaba is, is located, and uh, I was actually living like 10 minutes walk from the uh, Alibaba headquarters in in Hangzhou. So yeah, so I'll be here for anything related to dealing with suppliers in China or anything sourcing related. Awesome, sounds good. And I actually uh, met Payment in Chiang Mai at the. Uh, Nomad Summits years ago. We've been uh, friends and in contact ever since, and uh, we're teaming up to uh, help people about this uh, physical product game. So my quick story: 2014 came out to Thailand for that conference for the Nomad Summit. Uh, we were doing drop shipping at the time. Uh, basically, didn't go well. We were trying to create our own web store, drive our own traffic. Didn't go well uh, until we met a friend there at the conference who was crushing it with FBA. His name was Kai. Um, and we're, we are frustrated with drop shipping. We're trying to drive traffic as newbies and we're like, okay, let's pivot to this FBA thing. Kai is crushing it, making plus 5k a month. Uh, he had just, uh, enrolled in the 5k, uh, amazing selling machine program. And so he was doing it. He was learning all the knowledge. So we were basically learning from him, looking over his shoulder uh, in the same co-working space. Um, basically copy pasting exactly what he's doing and using this whole private label method and uh yeah needless to say uh first year started to take off made over 200k in revenue second year 400k last year over 500k and well on our way to breaking the seven figure mark we're going to continue to launch products always and do this whole model and uh, it's changed our life been based uh, in thailand and bali for the past five years visited over 30 countries you know, before this, I had never visited anywhere. Uh, so this was literally my dream, just to be uh, making an income that uh, can allow me to travel the world. Uh, so you're here because this is absolutely real. This is uh, screenshots from our first year, averaging almost 5K. And screenshots from our last year, averaging near nearly 15K. Amazon pays you direct deposit into your bank account. No questions asked. They just pay you straight to your bank account. And let me say, having that passive income, as I've said, is the best thing ever. <clears throat> 30 countries and counting, which is literally my dream to explore the world because myself and many people, we all want to travel the world, but it's just a question of when is that going to happen? Uh, how do we do that? And that's the big question. Um, basically comes down to your financial situation and if you're location independent. So Amazon, selling on Amazon, this whole business is something that is location independent. You can do from anywhere. Amazon doesn't care where you're at. I've built my, I've been running my business from Kenya, from several Europe trips, from out here in Southeast Asia, when I'm home in America for the summers. It does not matter where you're at. You can be anywhere. So if, you're, if your dream is world travel, this is great. <clears throat> so what made the difference between our previous drop shipping model and this? Um, we did a lot of things right. We did a lot of things wrong, that's for sure, starting out. Um, basically found as newbies to the digital marketing game, trying to figure out how to drive your traffic was very tricky through Google ads, Facebook ads. Uh, and then we just realized it's way easier to get started by just listing your product on the biggest store in the world, much easier to get sales. The traffic is already there on Amazon and then you launch a second one and then you simply repeat the process. You can create your own Amazon storefront. Instead of your own website, Amazon lets you have your own little storefront on Amazon and I'll get into that. What makes Amazon the single greatest opportunity of the decade? Well, let me show you. Everyone knows, everyone's seen this. Amazon is exploding, exponential, you might say. Amazon is exploding year over year, and actually the truth is it's just getting started. It is still at the very ground, bottom floor of not only Amazon, but of internet as a whole. Still the very beginning. And here's some uh, 
Here's some stats. Might as well be a gazillion dollars in revenue, $280 billion in 2019. <clears throat> it's creeping uh, to approach 60% of all online sales in America. Stupid. Um, so Amazon is basically just where online transactions happen. So selling online, selling on Amazon is basically just selling online. That's why Amazon's always going to be around. It's always going to be a good place to be. They're in 16 countries, but let me tell you, they have some big plans to take over the world. Uh, and the number of Prime users keeps going up. And also, I didn't even put in here, they, Amazon.com started shipping internationally to over 100 countries. I've ordered products from Amazon.com Prime out here to tropical Asia. And it's like five to 10 days shipping, like relatively cheap, like 20 bucks. So they're taking over the international shipping uh, thing. And that's a relatively new thing. So now my business's audience just opened way up to a whole new uh, plethora of customers. And so now, on top of all that, What's going on with this uh, lockdown situation? Everybody knows Amazon sales are higher than they've ever been. It's Black Friday levels of sales every day. And so that's basically it, guys. Um, it's the biggest platform in the world. Traffic is already there. People that go to Amazon, they're looking to buy now. They're not looking to just check it out. They're ready to buy. Their credit card is already stored. That's what makes Amazon the best place to have a business. And of course, it's very passive. It's passive income because once your product is listed on Amazon, they hold the inventory, they pack it, they ship it, they handle returns. All that stuff is done for you. Amazon's created the easiest platform ever for people to sell and partner with them to offer great products. And of course, people love it because it's fast delivery. Even same day in many U.S. cities, it has already been rolled out. Yep, yep, it's coming, it's coming quick. And um, let me tell you, they've been testing the drone delivery and the future that we're barreling into has that a part of it. We're, we're not even into drone delivery phase. So if you're, if you're thinking about getting into Amazon before the drone delivery era, it's still early. Let's think long term here. But at the same time, we got, a, we got an opportunity right now bigger than ever also another thing people rarely talk about is the boomers are coming on more and more and more to um to online shop 74 million plus boomers are now getting used to having iphones used to using these apps the amazon app and there that's millions and millions of shoppers that are now coming online because of the obvious reasons um, and as the boomers start to get into an older, uh, boomers start to retire more and get towards uh, a little bit older may not be able to um, go out to, to shop as much. That whole generation is you know staying home at mo staying home more, online shopping more starting now and in the coming years. So basically, all right, Riley, that's good. How do I do this? What is the best way to capitalize on Amazon? I'm going to show you. It's relatively much more simple than you might think. I'm going to get into that. And in my class, we've broken it down to my three secrets. My three secrets that most people do not know. Um, number one, why the next 90 days are actually going to be the biggest opportunity when it comes to Amazon. Number two, our winning formula that we've found over the past five years where you can come up with a unique product that can rank for a niche within a niche keyword using our keyword research strategy. So our formula to come up with products that will sell on Amazon, place them strategically. And number three, how you can use a proven blueprint that's been done by previous sellers as a turnkey way to launch your product on Amazon. Let's get into number one. Basically, everybody knows it's exploding demand right now. People are stuck at home. They're buying everything on Amazon. And Amazon just, Amazon just hired 100,000 new employees. As I said, it's Black Friday sales. 
every day. So that's pretty good for sellers. Um, you know, people would rather stay at home, obviously. Um, and not only during this kind of lockdown and entering the entering the edges or entering the end of the lockdown phase, not only is Amazon sales going to be high, but in the next whole year, people are going to be more wary of crowds for the next year, two years, like indefinitely into the future. So, Am so the Amazon sales have been going up, but right now it just took a whole leap forward. And there's a big opportunity of lots of lots of demand and not as much supply right now. So, big opportunity for entrepreneurs. Boop boop boop. Uh, less competition. So this is what people are, most people are not saying. So many brands, many bigger brands with like their own uh, employees, buildings, offices, and things have been negatively affected. Obviously, those type of products that are not, you know, blowing up right now. So a lot of those brands have either gone bankrupt or are financially struggling right now and basically scaling back on advertising, just trying to not go bankrupt, trying to pay off their debts, trying to keep take care of their employees. So a lot of, you know, regular brands are struggling you know, and or they've had their um, supply chain disrupted. So um, they're not launching new products and they're not as active uh, if even still selling on Amazon. So a lot of product, a lot of big brands have gone bankrupt. That's an opportunity for new, leaner, smaller brands, smaller sellers like me and you to come in. This opens a huge, uh, huge hole and also cheaper clicks. This is what all my digital nomad friends are saying right now. Clicks are up to 40% cheaper right now because all these big companies are, they're, they're playing it safe. They're conservative. They're, they're not advertising, you know, and so ch clicks are cheaper. So this is an opportunity to launch in the next, next 90 days and reach even more shoppers on Amazon through their sponsored placement program, which I'll get to in a second. Um, for cheaper than ever. So I've never seen this happen in my five years and all my OG marketer friends are like, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Amazon ads, Google ads, everything is cheap. Advertise now, get in front of your customers now. So in summary, demand is higher than ever and competition is down. That equals opportunity. Got some more people joining. Welcome guys. So number two, what is our secret formula to make it easy to find a unique product idea and rank it using our keyword strategy? Key number one is having a niche within a niche keyword. I'll explain that. Key number two is having a differentiating feature. This is what I found, guys, is the key to success. Let me tell you, I've been teaching this, oh man, for five years. This is what I found. So niche within a keyword, what's that? Basically, it's tricky to get on page one for yoga mat bag, but it's easier to get on page with yoga mat bag with pockets. That would be a niche within a niche keyword. Um, it's all about the more specific keywords. So the more specific you can get for a keyword, if there's good sales volume for it, it's going to convert even better because it's even more specific about what the shopper wants and ideally it's a feature rich term like with pockets that's a feature that's a unique feature of the certain type of product that they want to buy they want that specific thing so we're going to get specific with these keywords stay with me stay with me um here's a screenshot of our ppc numbers basically it's showing um, these more specific keywords are very profitable and often can get you the big chunk of your sales for these specific keywords, that's where the money's at. So I'm saying that's where the money's at. <clears throat> um, so let me kind of show you what that looks like. I'm going to show you the um, the criteria of products that we typically. Uh, basically, it's the easiest way to profit on Amazon, is by um, listing a private label product. So a private label product is where you basically find something that's already being made. You put your own packaging and logo on it, and you um, you source that and launch that under your own brand. The Kirkland Signature brand that everybody knows is one example of many, many private label brands. They don't own their own manufacturing. 
They just buy it from the manufacturer that already buys it, puts it in the Kirkland signature box and logo, and sells it for, you know, X the price and profits off of that. The other ways you could do it is, you know, come up with a completely novel, unique design, but that takes way more startup capital. Or you could list an existing product, like take this Audio Technica mic and and relist it you know get it wholesale somehow and then relist it but then you don't have your own unique listing page on Amazon you're sharing it with other sellers so the way to go is to have your own unique brand that you own you control the price there's no minimum advertised price it's a brand that you can actually build and sell in the future as well this is your own house your own store your own asset no one can fuck with it You make the rules. That's why it's so good to own your own brand. And we're going to talk about building a legit brand for the long term later. So um, let me get into what kind of the private label method looks like. It is uh, it's best to focus in this kind of 10 to $50 range because that's what's known as the impulse buy range. Um, it's very easy for a customer to just buy it on an impulse and it also makes it relatively affordable to source. Um, and ideally, we're looking for, for something uh, relatively small and light. So um, the, the importing fee is relatively low. And there's no Amazon oversized fee. So I say within a shoebox, if it can fit in a shoebox, that's ideal. Because anything over 18 inches long, Amazon puts a $2 extra fee on there. So that's ideal. So all right, Riley, that's all good and cool. Uh, how do I find these products? That's the secret. That's where the money's at. And let me show you. Basically, you're digging through Amazon. You're doing market research. You know, any any. How does any company decide what product to launch next? What product to develop? They do market research. They do surveys. They do see what other companies are doing. They look at trends. Same thing here. You know, they look at search volume. All that type of analysis. That's how businesses are built. So um, I've developed this uh, cheat sheet, uh, which is available for all you guys watching inside of my ebook. The link is inside of my ebook. You can get that. But uh, I've been uh, honing and developing this uh, product research cheat sheet over the years, and uh, I'm going to be mentioning that a bunch of times. Um, so basically, there's there's different areas that you can get to scouting get to doing your market research well, number one is the jungle scout jungle scout is a um, it's the most popular software for scouting through the amazon jungle and uh basically you're looking through there is a um there's a tool where you basically there's all these uh criteria you type in your criteria like category and um, price range and all these different um, parameters and it spits back what you're looking for. So very cool, you just go to the front here, you type find products, product or opportunity finder and you get into there. Here's a screenshot of what it looks like. Don't have time to do it to get into it now in detail but here's a screenshot of what it looks like, very, very cool. Uh, number two, is um, browse Amazon, these strategic different sections for trending items. So when I got started, it was just they had the best sellers page. But since they now have a movers and shakers page, a new releases page, a most wished for page, most gifted page, people, most people don't even know about this stuff. Barely anyone knows about this. Um, and then also recently, uh, Amazon Launchpad, which is where they um, feature products that have been on places like Kickstarter and Shark Tank. Very, very cool. And I only knew about this till recently. Uh, and then also another one, Amazon Handmade. Amazon Handmade. See, most people don't even know about it. Amazon Handmade. I'm telling you, you can find ideas on all these places. All these places are money that pretty much nobody knows about. Um, and then area three is just elsewhere. So other sites, we got Etsy.com. 
if you guys know about Etsy.com, what you know about Etsy? Etsy is, uh, I know some people, I'll say, who have gotten $100,000 ideas from Etsy. Um, just going to tell you that. Um, Kickstarter.com, ShutUpAndTakeMyMoney.com, Instagram at Celebrity Trends and Everyday Life. Just keep your eyes peeled. Places to get good ideas. Product research criteria. This is, I'm going to give you a general overview of the procedure, okay, that you use. And you can take this. So take notes as I'm going through this. You're going to be able to take this and, and get to it, hit the ground running. All right. So step number one, you're going to skim quickly through Amazon and these different places that I just said, these different three places. And you're going to open interesting potential private label ideas in a new tab. Open a tab, skim. Open a tab, skim. Open a tab, skim. Open a tab, skim. This is what it looks like. You're going to have a bunch of tabs open. And uh, you're going to have your jungle scout. And you're going to be getting to it. Bunch of tabs. But first, go wide. It's the same way uh, uh, Skrillex makes beats. I was just on watching a YouTube video just two days ago. He's like, I sketch a bunch of beat ideas. I sketch, sketch, sketch. Make a bunch of sketches. And then later, with a fresh mind, I come back, listen to them all, and then develop the ones that sound good. Same thing with this. You're sketching, just open, throwing ideas at the wall that are potential, and then you come back later and develop inter more interesting ones that you're interested in. So after you have these tabs open, you're going back and you're doing quick analysis. You're checking page one on Amazon for competition level, for sales volume level, and for keyword search volume level. Basically, you're trying to make sure not too, too much competition. There's good sales volume. So is this niche, is there a good amount of money flowing through this niche where I can come in and get a piece of the pie? and keyword volume are enough people searching, are there enough visits to this page, so to speak? And you're keeping track of all this in the spreadsheet. When you see the spreadsheet, it'll, it will make sense. So some key little metrics. I say I say a, a real successful seller is, um, <clears throat> you know, doing over, making over a thousand profit per month. You know, that's good. So it depends on what the unit price is, but you can see the revenue right there in Jungle Scout. Um, you're looking at the number of successful within reach uh, players. So relatively low reviews. So for example, if there's several listings crushing it, but they have like uh, under 200 reviews, that means they're relatively within reach because you can catch up to them in reviews using our ninja review tactics. That makes sense. And also you're looking at the amount of sellers, uh, amount of listings for this specific keyword with over a thousand reviews. If there's too many with over a thousand reviews, those listings tend to suck up a lot of the sales because after your listing hits a thousand reviews, it's just like a snowball effect. It's so much credibility, which um, is another huge opportunity on Amazon, which I'm hoping to reach actually soon. If you can hit a thousand reviews on Amazon, you're just you're set. That listing is going to just be boom. It's just going to keep exploding and it's exponential from there. And that is the holy grail on Amazon, especially if you can keep four stars or better at a thousand reviews, which is guess why that's going to happen, guys. Ultimately, it's going to happen because shoppers love your product, you know, and it's solid and it's everything is advertised and it's great. That's how it's going to work. And I'll get into that in a second. Um, okay, so step number three is once you have 30 potential ideas listed in my spreadsheet, then you're going to do the next step of deep dive, deep dive analysis. So you're going to check um, different niche within a niche opportunities. So you're going to use the Jungle Scout keyword tool to look uh, look, search your main term. It's going to give you several other terms that are related and you're going to look out for potential more micro niche terms that um, could make sense to target. And you go here in Jungle Scout, you click the keywords, 
uh, tab and you go to keyword scouts and you just type in the main niche let's say you know yoga mat bag and it's going to give you all these different keywords that are people are peep this is actual data from Amazon of what people are searching you're going to look around there for ideas and then after you find something that's interesting then you search page one for that niche within a niche keyword and you do this, you do the same analysis is there a good amount of sales coming through to this keyword is there a good search volume are there opportunities to squeeze in there are there good options or is no one off offering a great option for this micro niche keyword you're an you're analyzing that and keep track of this in the spreadsheet i would say 3000 searches a month is a good number to bank on that you can be making a good amount of sales on that keyword all right it depends obviously on how on the competition level you know and how good your listing is how unique it is of course but 3k is solid uh, but you can keep in mind i was just telling andrew this yesterday on his uh product advising consult is you can use these smaller keywords that are maybe only a hundred searches a month to come up with ideas if people are if some people are searching for you know yoga mat bag with velcro pockets let's say it's only 100 searches a month that can still be an idea because oh if some people are searching for that that actually might be a useful thing that other people searching for yoga mat bags never even thought of but they might love so it's this is uh, this keyword tool is an idea to come up is a place to come up with unique features that you can add that no one else has hopefully so here's a screenshot exact you type in yoga mat it's going to say yoga mat bag yoga mat bag with strap yoga mat no slip all the different related terms and you're looking for terms that uh, are function related or have with in them because it's this with this for example our first crushing keyword had 3500 uh, searches a month um and it was a function related keyword so that's why our first product did so well uh, step four then you open up Alibaba it's, it does everyone I'm assuming everyone knows what Alibaba is it's basically the wholesale Amazon um, you look through there through for unique models and ideas take notes in the spreadsheets um, and ideally basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to cross-reference for Alibaba look for look for something that is not on Amazon yet and look for unique ideas maybe you can take something on alibaba and combine some features with this model that model message the supplier see if they can do it you know for, for a relatively good price and um do keep in mind that not all features are are you are equal if a feature is functional if it's actually useful provides value um to the product that feature is weighted more than a feature that's just like has flower print on it. It makes it look good, but it's not really useful. You know what I'm saying? Keep that in mind. Um, and make sure Alibaba tip to look deep. Look deep, deep, deep. Because um, I found a unique product idea on page 50, 50 of Alibaba. I was looking I was like I have this idea in my head of like this model that would be cool but I just I wonder if it's already being made kept looking kept looking kept looking. oh my god page 50 I found it so it takes deep diving guys we're 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 building a, a legit business here a legit product that people will love that's the key so you're cross-referencing Amazon Alibaba boom 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 um all right now key number two of the product research secret formula is having a differentiating feature quote here businesses are built on good ideas you know let's be honest um, successful companies come from good ideas you know most of the time it's a combination of good idea and timing you know and a little bit of marketing and branding strategy all those things come together that's a successful brand you know, and the best idea, the best good idea is to have a lot of a lot of ideas. That's where the spreadsheet will help you. Lots of ideas first, and then develop the best ones. <clears throat> so 
So our products kill because they're unique. We added some, so here's some differentiation methods that I teach. Number one, adding simple functional features. Number two, bundling. And number three, being the clear, more premium, higher quality option. We've actually done all three of these. These are the methods. So A, adding new uh, functional features, some tips on this. Keep notes of things and features and things that you would add to the listing. Um, keep note of negative reviews. What would you change? What would you uh, improve? What are people saying about the product? What are they complaining about? How can you capitalize on that to use an idea? Uh, and then like I just said, look on Alibaba for new and, new and innovative ideas. And search Google and other sites. Just search Google for this micro niche keyword. See if there's a website, you know, a, a niche website selling these specific things and they're coming out with crazy cool uh, models for this specific thing and and they're, these, these models and this idea is not on Amazon yet. That's an opportunity right there. Uh, number two, bundling. So keep, uh, keep a lookout for terms with the word with on Jungle Scout keyword tool. Notice the frequently bought together section on Amazon. Amazon will tell you straight up, this is what customers also buy this with. So could it make sense to come out with a bundle? Uh-huh. But pro tip, keep in mind, bundles are tricky because <clears throat> you're ideally, ideally there's a search term to, um, there, ideally there's a search term with both of the bundle items in one search term. So for example, um, yoga with yoga mat. Ideally there's a search term that's yoga with yoga mat. People are looking to buy a bundle of that specifically, you know what I'm saying? If there's not, you're gonna be trying to rank either for yoga mat or yoga mat bag. And those may be two competitive keywords, you know what I'm saying? So it would be much easier to rank on page one for both of those terms together. That's ideal, keep that in mind. Uh, and number three option is is there a premium option available for this micro niche? Is there an iPhone option? Because the philosophy is there's a certain amount of shoppers out there that always will want to buy the most expensive option on the page. And some of our products have done this and it has worked very well. We are the most expensive option in this niche and it sells one of the best. Uh, you know, same thing with iPhone. Some people are always gonna get the iPhone even though it's the most expensive phone. It's because it's the nicest. So a lot of people in America, they have money. They just, they don't care about the difference between 20 and 50 bucks. They're gonna wanna get the nicest one. So look on page one for your micro niche and, um, and see, is there a premium option? Is everyone kind of competing with this kind of cheap competing for price? Is there is there a space, do you think, to come out with boom, premium option? I'm way up here. Is there an opportunity there? But of course, pro tip, you got to back it up with a killer premium product that does not break and is actually, you know, does what it says. Because big picture, uh, reviews will come out if it breaks it will kill your listing. So a big theme I'm gonna continue mentioning is a good product is the best best way to go. Make it make it legit, make it good. Um, so overall, ideally, what are we ideally looking for uh, here in product research? We're looking for a unique, making your product unique, that has unique functional features that are useful, that improve the product, we're looking for good sales volume in this micro niche. So there's already a flood of sales, already a waterfall of money going uh, going on in this micro niche. And also there's good search volume. So there's good traffic uh, in this small niche within a niche. And ideally it's an uptrending niche. So this is a big thing. You know, with any any company that ends up being successful, usually there's an element of timing. 
usually you know the iphone just hit at the perfect time boom first smartphone basically boom hit it with perfect time other products like the google uh, glasses they came out several several years ago did not catch on because they were too early you know and there's plenty of cases about companies being too late so check google trends trends.google.com for these niche keywords ideally it is uptrending not downtrending and also jungle scouts has a trending score as well so biggest tips to avoid i'd say to people don't get excited too quick like i said go wide first go wide 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 get your eyes on as many niches as possible and then come back with a fresh mind dig deeper on the ones that interest you um, crunch numbers for like 30 niche within a niche keywords um, add it to your and then add it to your uh, your spreadsheet and then go back on your spreadsheet again and narrow that down narrow that down so you're just chipping away and of course keep in mind I forgot to mention that ideally also it's a product that you would actually buy yourself and use yourself something that you're relatively interested in that's always an ideal case it's never um, you know gonna be always the case but um, ideally so I recommend starting looking into categories that you're that you're interested in if you like surfing look at surf categories you know if you like cooking look at kitchen if you like um, you know yoga look at yoga stuff you know so keep that in mind with the balance of you know your business mind and then also a product that I would use and it'd be really cool and really exciting to uh, to work on uh, so what about margins what about margins payment you can hear me all right cool cool um, all right can you guys hear me in the chat let's just check in in the chat make sure everything's running smooth just say uh, yes or thumbs up. Yep, yep. What's up, Yinks? Jacob, good, thanks. All right. Um, so let's dive into margins. Riley, what are margins? Um, all right, Lena, thank you. So, all right, quick example. Basically, Amazon takes 33%. Um, that's their fee to be um, for, for your inventory to be fulfilled by Amazon. To be on Amazon Prime, it's basically they just take 33%. 25 to 30 33 depends on the size and the category so one of our products sells for 39.99 amazon takes 25 percent so we get 30 bucks back 16 bucks is our unit cost which we've gotten down to 12 now by the way through some using our sourcing agent which i'll talk about later uh, and then a dollar for ppc um, on average you know that's paying for for clicks to, to boost up and then uh so at the end, the $13 profit out of a 40 bucks sale, that's about 33% margin. So aim for 33% or better. Some of our products are like closer to $40, $50 a margin, and that's gross profit before tax. And by the way, I handle tax exactly the uh, same way that I would if I was living in America. I'm just on a long vacation. You know, you're going to pay tax according to your situation, but yes, you have to pay tax on your income, obviously. Um, so obviously I don't have to time, uh, in one hour to go over everything guys. But, um, basically the next steps is you just narrow down your list to the top five, your top five favorite things. And then you're searching Alibaba and you're looking for unique models, you know, use that data to determine your top five. Uh, and then you're ordering some samples. You simply message the supplier. Hey, um, I'm interested. I'm a seller in the U S I'm interested in, you know, just say like, Act like you're serious. I'm interested in 10,000 units. First, I would like to order some samples. Here's my address. They'll ship it to you. It takes about five to seven days from China to the U.S. And uh, or let's say order three to five different uh, models of your three to five top favorite ideas. And then you're playing with them. You're making sure they're high quality. Um, you're using it, getting some ideas. And you use that to decide on something. And then you're gonna order a test order. So you're gonna negotiate with the supplier. Hey, I'm interested in, in 10,000 units. Um, send me the uh, the PI, which is the invoice for 10,000 units. Okay, okay, good. Everything sounds good. All right, we want to do this. But 
Before we do that, you, that order of 10,000, we first need to verify the quality with a small test order. Please send me this same price per unit for 100 units, 200 units, 300 units, 400, 500 units, some small as you can get a test order. And that's what you first import to Amazon. This is what's called a test order. So you're just gonna test it out with minimal investment to uh, see if it does well on Amazon. And uh, if it does well, then you order more. Congratulations, you just created passive income. It's literally just like that. And uh, of course, when you launch on Amazon, there's different tricks that uh, you can get quick reviews and gain ranking, like doing giveaways and doing promotions and uh, Facebook and Instagram ads to drive traffic, which Amazon loves now. Um, so yeah, and what would I consider uh, successful on Amazon? I don't know, 20 bucks profit a day, like 600 bucks a month, like that's not too bad. You know, an extra 6K, a year, 7K a year, I would consider that pretty successful. You know, most people in America have zero passive income. So if it makes more than 500 bucks, I keep it. Yeah, for sure. And what you can also do is we've done several times is after the, um, after the test order, often you can get customer reviews and feedback on a way to come out with version 2.0 for your next order and improve it even better. Uh, do we do our test order on the main seller central account? I got a question. Uh, yep, yep. Do it on your, on your main account. By the way, to sign up, you go to sell.amazon.com. So if you... Uh, if you already know that you want to get into it, that process can take some time. So just go to sell.amazon.com. Anyone in the world can sell on Amazon, by the way. Forgot to mention that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the that's pretty much the process, guys. Um, so we're gonna do a poll. Who pretty much agrees that they can take that uh, that method and go and source and list on Amazon? I'm gonna sip my coffee. Just say just say thumbs up. Oh, you can raise your hand in this. This is nice. Nice, cool. So that's pretty much it. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Tomer. Yeah, good. That was that, that was my goal. That's that's the sauce, guys. Obviously, I can't cover everything in one webinar. Um, even if we had <laughs> one day, I have more than <laughs> I have hours and hours and dozens of hours of uh, of tutorials on this. But uh, okay, let's get into the number three secret. How can you capitalize as fast as possible? You know, anyone can go, you know, do this. How do you do it fast? So during this whole lockdown situation, I've been thinking about, all right, I'm getting more questions than ever. You know, how do I get on Amazon? So I've been trying to devise a way to help people do it as fast as possible. Um, how to do it and especially how to um, fash. Let's get this fast cash. Um, how to do it um, while this lockdown is still kind of going on during lockdown economy and exiting lockdown economy and still into this whole post lockdown economy when online shopping numbers are like boosted way, way up. Um, yeah. Abraham says, thank you for doing this. My pleasure, bro. Um, he's, Elena says, is it, t is it possible to do it faster? Um, yes, you know, the good thing about entrepreneurship is anything is possible, but, um, you know, uh, it's possible. So let's, let's stay, let's stay with me here. So basically, um, how can I teach you guys how to do this fast in the past? What you would do is you would make a course and you'd have a bunch of tutorial, tutorial videos. And, um, but the, the thing is, See, I've had a, an Amazon school, an Amazon course since 2016. But the thing with, is with online courses is most people actually don't even complete it. So when I teamed up with Payment, I was like, you know, as you, if you guys follow me, I've been talking about making my new Amazon course for years and updating it for 2020. And uh, we're like, how can we increase the rate of success? So how can we change it and make sure everyone completes it? That's why we decided to do it like a 90 day accelerator called the 90 day challenge. 
pretty cool. So it's basically a fun way for everyone to um, to try to launch in the next 90 days. And this is this is unique. No one else is doing this. Do you guys want to hear more about um, about the 90 day accelerator thing? Because I've pretty much gone over all the strategy. All right, awesome. And then um, I'm gonna get into oh yeah, how many hours would it take? I'm gonna get into that in a second. Awesome. You want to know more? Boom. Introducing 90 day FBA challenge. Let's fucking go. Um, all right. So what is it? Like I said, it's unique. No one has done this. Um, it's not only my 2020 updated video course, it's a 90 day step by step blueprint. So I've taken all my knowledge from my Amazon school, from my uh, Amazon marketing agency, launching products for, for dozens of brands and combined all of that into an easy to follow 90 day calendar, 90 day step by step blueprint. And to ask your question, how much uh, how much time? The 90 day calendar is based on a 20 hour a week uh, schedule. So um, <clears throat> based on four to five hours a week for four to five days a week. That's what the, that's that's my model. But of course, there's going to be outliers. Like everything in, in nature in the universe, it follows a normal distribution curve. So some people will do it faster. Some people will do it slower. But on average, I'm saying 20 hours a week. It's also not just that. It's a mastermind. So it's it's a mastermind. Weekly Zoom calls. This is the new way. And it's a library of my proven templates. Uh, access to my personal network. And a system of accountability. This is the future of education. If you follow me, I'm so passionate about the education revolution. And um, this is it. This is how it's done. Who is it for? Obviously, for anyone who uh, wants to quit their job, anyone who wants to live life on their own terms, live a more fulfilling life, get, get their freedom back, get their time back, create a passive income, replace your income. Obviously, that was me. I was sick of my corporate job. I got into this whole thing to replace my income, to start focusing my time on what I like doing, which is traveling, creating, teaching, making the world a better place, all these bigger things. Um, anyone, basically anyone who wants to get into FBA, <laughs> that's exactly who this is for. That's exactly who we made this for. Uh, who is it not for, guys? Uh, it's definitely not uh, for someone who just wants to ch check it out, check out FBA. No, it's for people who want to get into it now. Um, this is not a, a get rich fast thing. Uh, it's not for people who are looking for easy money, like, I'm going to give you some money and I'm going to make some money back, right? Just so I don't have to do anything, right? No, it's absolutely not that. Um, um, it's people who are willing to get coached and mentored by me, follow my follow my success and emulate my my system. People who are willing to be coachable, and of course, people who are willing to put their money where their mouth is, and put money into your business. Yes, starting a business takes money. This takes money too, but let me tell you, a lot less money than a traditional store or traditional business. If you were to open up a fashion shop like store, you're looking at like in a major city, you're looking at 100K. You know what I'm saying? And with this, you can do much less. Not only much less money, but much less work, let me tell you. Much less work. I recommend uh, for your business, mm, I'll say at least a few grand. At least a few grand you're going to need. So if you're if you're broke right now, this is you should save up money and you should come back later. At least a few grand. Um, high standards for the program. This is the note that saying that are saying we are committing to high standards for our program because we want to make this like the next, you know, uh, uh, Y Combinator startup accelerator. But it's for Amazon businesses. You get into it, we're gonna make it our job to keep the um, success rate high. Basically, the old model of education, courses and classes. The new model, masterminds, mentors. If you follow entrepreneurs on social media, you know this is what everyone is doing. It's masterminds now. Masterminds, masterminds, mentors, mentors. This is the new way of education. So traditional education system is uh, 
is in major need for a disruption and uh, it's it's folks like like myself and other entrepreneurs that are uh, you know Elon Musk created his own school based on what makes sense you know that's what this is it's what makes sense uh, basically to recap everything if you were to take our number one secret and realize that right now is actually the best time to get into to Amazon while things are exploding and our number two secret on how to find that, use that unique keyword strategy and that unique idea strategy to launch. And also follow our 90 day calendar checklist blueprint. Do you think you could maybe take these these three things and create some passive income, you know, relatively easily? Hmm, I think so, yep, yep, yep. Oh yes, let me show you this is something I'm very, very proud of. Um, it's actually a little bit surreal, but um, my little brother makes 150K a year on Amazon. Yes, he went full time, uh, quit his job within a year and a half, and now, about four years later, is profiting over 15K a month. And he does not need a job, he just bought a new Jeep. Uh, he's got a new apartment, and um, I'm very, very proud of this. Um, <laughs> yeah, I basically ch uh, changed his life, and so let's let's see if I can play this video. Years ago, I started learning from them. You know, I got straight into the FBA game, and within the first year, I, w I was making four four to six thousand dollars a month. Um, you know, after a year or two, I started this doing this full time. Um, now it's three, four years later. I'm I'm nearing the hundred and fifty thousand to two hundred thousand profit a year. Okay, I'm in my new apartment. Um, you know, I I have my own business. I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. Okay, it's amazing. And you know, thanks to Riley for kind of paving the way for me. I mean, I'm able to do this. Give this course a chance. It's you won't be sorry. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty cool. So on top of that, actually, guys, my mom, my mom, just a regular old mom, makes one to two k a month with her simple product idea that I helped her launch over one summer. Also, here's a testimonial from Brandon. Brandon, um, Brandon makes money on Amazon. We could say that. Uh, okay, so obviously, disclaimer, guys, the results are up to you. Like in any business, it's totally up to you. You know, nothing's ever guaranteed in life or in business. Um, I think it's something like, it's really, I think the stat is like nine out of ten startups fail. <laughs> you know, traditional startups. Uh, but let me tell you, with FBA businesses, I found it's a higher success rate. And um, you know, while it's not typical to make you know a million bucks in a year um, with with any business, I've found many FBA entrepreneurs have done this. Many. And the beautiful thing about internet businesses is they're scalable. They're scalable so quickly compared to um, other business models. And I've found it relatively easier relatively easy more than any other business model I've seen out there to make six figures my brother makes six figures I make six figures on my way to seven figures he is too I've honestly guys I've met hundreds of digital nomads and online entrepreneurs I've found this to be the most consistent and relatively easiest way to create passive income over my years that's why everyone's still fired up about it uh, okay, another poll for fun. How many are you guys are legitimately excited for the long term 
of the digital gold rush moving into the future and excited to start a lucrative uh, career in this still beginning phase of the internet. You know, we are the first, we are the first, we are the baby generation of the internet. Think of our, think of our kids. Think of our kids, they're gonna be like, daddy, I hope you made money on the internet because while in your lifetime, it was just getting started. Wow, there must, must have been the wild west on the internet. Every generation after this, they don't get this opportunity. This is ground one, this is step one. That's the big picture. That's why I'm just like so fired up to be in this space. Um, and then anyone feeling like a little bit overwhelmed right now, so much information. <clears throat> no, all right, well good. <laughs> Payment, can you hear me? Everything's still looking good? All right. Um, all right, so let's get Abraham so excited. Let's go. So basically, in the past, uh, like I just showed you, we've been able to take complete newbies and successfully launch the product in a short period of time. I've done this for students. I've done this for clients. Uh, here's James. Uh, same thing. James makes money on Amazon. You could say that, making thousands of dollars per month. Don't have time to play his testimonial. Um, all right, awesome. So basically, let's get into it. Let's get into what uh, the 90-day accelerator is. Everything I know about product research, my product research secrets. Tons of uh, screen share tutorial videos going into the uh, the deep dive of product research. It's me on the screen doing it live. I teach you everything, obviously. Number two, sourcing. Everything you need to, about, need to know about sourcing is right there for you. How to deal with suppliers, how to negotiate. How to vet suppliers, make sure they're legit. How to, how to um, get the smallest test order possible. Uh, everything I know about suppliers is in this video tutorial module with several videos. Then Seller Central, how to navigate Seller Central, which is the Amazon selling dashboard. Um, all the little tips, tricks, secrets I've learned about Seller Central, they're gonna save you time, save you money. And uh, there's honestly so many bells and whistles in there, I'm discovering them. Parker's showing me new things like all the time. Uh, branding so <clears throat> I found the people who crush it the biggest on Amazon is they have cool brands they have a nice product name they have a nice brand name it's a fun brand you know they add the branding element and that's a thing that a lot of people miss out on so everything that you need to know to create a private label brand what I've learned from my own brand my brother's brand other successful brands the tips tricks and secrets how to create a killer brand that when shoppers see you on Amazon, they're gonna be like, yes, this is it. I'm buying this one. Product launch secrets, tons of tutorial videos on this I've put together, updated in 2020, of course, such as um, my secrets that pretty much no one knows about, how to get quick 10 plus verified reviews, like very quick. Um, and uh, how to rank for your niche within a niche keyword, how to do giveaways, how to do outside promotions that boost the page ranking, how to use uh, super URLs that are like these special uh, altered links that boosts your, um, boosts your page ranking for any keyword that you want. All these little secrets that I've learned over five years compiled it into what's working now. Done several tutorial videos on that. Also PPC, which means pay-per-click all the little tips, tricks, secrets that I've learned through my own brand, my students' brands, uh, managing PPC for clients now I do. I'm a PPC expert. I'm gonna teach you all the secrets that are gonna allow you to get the most eyeballs possible on Amazon through their sponsored program for the best possible price. And as well as uh, what to avoid because a lot of people are hemorrhaging money through PPC. I'm gonna show you how to put in a dollar, make back a dollar fifty, and just keep pumping it. That's it. And then automation. So the whole section on automation. Um, after you got your store, you know, up and running, what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to automate it. You know, there's there's not that much upkeep, but what you can do is you can uh, hire uh, freelancers, uh, VAs, which is virtual assistants, and even full-time employees if you want 
to uh, upkeep your store to like reply to reviews, run some A-B testing uh, for conversion, um, test different things for PPC. There's some softwares that help with that. Uh, there's softwares that help automate getting a continuous stream of new reviews. So everything that I've learned about upkeep and automation, I've done tutorial videos on this to just literally teach you everything through lectures just like this. Um, but of course recorded inside of the um, inside of the class area boom so honestly i'm looking at this and i'm like if this were a real college course and it were like you know a week on each of these things or two weeks on each of these things students would be coming in droves to sign up for this for 7k which is like so cheap for a college class and this would actually teach you how to run a specific business rather than like theory and you know that type of stuff that's how I look at it. Th my course has worked for anyone who's ambitious to take advantage of this FBA blast. Again, guys, anyone who is ready to quit their job, it's for you. If you're willing, willing to take action, this is for you. Another one from Chris. When I first uh, heard about the Amazon Anyways. You can check it out on our website. I don't have time to play that. It's a little bit long. Um, again, guys, all my things wrapped up in a video course. But here, here's what you also uh, is part of the program that I'm very proud of. <clears throat> it's not just a video course. Obviously, I said here is uh, the details of the um, of the accelerator of the challenge of the mastermind. Weekly group calls with me. Weekly group calls with the required attendance where you are asking questions and I am giving answers and advising. Uh, 90 day zero to launch checklist. I've, com I've compressed my whole process, my whole course, everything I know into a 90 day checklist so you're not wondering what do I do now, what do I do later. This is a, something I'm very, very proud of. Um, let me see if I can show you it. 90 day launch checklist. It is a project um, project management dashboard with collapsible checklists. So it's got like week one, day one, day two, day three. Uh, it's got your helpful resources up here. All the things you need to know right there, what you need to know before starting, everything you need to know to sign up for your account. And you can check it off. I really like these interactive checklists. It's basically Google Docs, but on steroids, more interactive, collapsible. Um, very cool. It's got your homework assignments right here for week one and then week two, week three, after you're done, check it off, collapse it. Boom. I'm a, I'm a graphic designer, so I really like how this works. And so you're basically going to get a, a template copy of this project, um, of this project, of this project and, um, have one to yourself. Very, very cool. Been working on that tirelessly. If you follow me on social media, you see the behind the scenes. Um, also, a private Facebook group and group chat where I'm answering questions, payments answering questions. And uh, anytime you get stuck, we got you. This is where your professors, this is this is a course. This is like a real college course. Um, and then every proven PDF template that I could come up with, I'm just throwing it all in there. Templates from getting reviews through emails, through product inserts, through many chat, through Facebook ads. Every template that I've either been given and using or written myself, I'm putting it in there. So it's a whole a library of resources that you can just uh, plug and play into your own biz. Um, and then bonus number five, it's, uh, really cool, is my actual sourcing agent's contact. Uh, and also my freight forwarders contact and i'll get into that in a second which is invaluable so if if just this if just this stuff if it was just a facebook group you know a checklist if, if this were the college course i think many students would probably enroll for 7k which is a very cheap college that would uh an fba school for this this amount Um, again, number one, weekly Zoom calls. Um, worth noting that many entrepreneurs charge 5K a year for a weekly Zoom masterminds. There's many masterminds out there. 
that charge 5k a year just for weekly calls with an expert and also note that this caps out at 30 students it's 30 students per 90 day semester all right so this does cap out so it's not going to be more than you know a, a typical classroom um let's see the 90 day checklist i just showed you that i could this thing is so cool i could market this as a as a 1k info product for sure it's that cool um which maybe i'll do down the line who knows uh, bonus number three facebook group and group chat where you're asking questions uh, and getting answers when you get stuck so don't worry about that if you get stuck uh, number four here's all the templates here's an example of a template uh, i give you the uh, the pdfs and uh, the many chat flows anything that can potentially be shared and just plug and play i have that inside the library uh, number five a sourcing agents contact so first of all my sourcing agent not only can they negotiate with your suppliers uh, on your behalf to get the best price which has saved people tens of thousands of dollars that's potentially the most valuable thing in this whole in this whole thing um but they can take care of the whole alibaba process for you i've actually worked with them on some product ideas i give them sketches i say this is my idea they say you know, you have a phone call, etc. You uh, so they understand the idea. They go out and figure out how to get it made. They go out and do the research, get the samples for you. Um, contact the supplier, say, "Hey, can you do this alteration? Can you make this this model? Can you put this together?" And they just handle it. So it's an A to Z sourcing agency that is very very cool, um, and they're a very reasonable price. Uh, reasonably priced of course they charge a fee but from what i've seen they're very reasonably priced so if you want to just have the whole sourcing thing done for you have them take care of it i'll put you guys in contact with them and then also on top of that my freight forwarder freight forwarder is a different agency different company different guy that uh, handles taking your inventory from the supplier and getting it to fba uh, the quickest and cheapest way possible um, you know, and sometimes there's there's these tricks to avoid importing fees, to avoid Trump tax, to go from China to Hong Kong back to America. They handle that all for you. And a true story, uh, my buddy Felipe in Chiang Mai, he when I saw him recently, he's like, oh yeah, by the way, um, when we switched to your freight forwarder, thanks for that by the way, because I found they were much cheaper than the one we are currently using, and it saved us thousands and thousands of dollars. So. Just that one thing has saved uh, some of my students and clients thousands and thousands of dollars. They're like they're the best one out there. He said he said he's tried several ones and it's by far the best one, best price. Everything together, all of the uh, all of the class content, all of the uh, mastermind content. That's what it is. So if this were a college, so I'm kind of looking at it. This would be easily 14k for a college semester. If this were like a you know a traditional class, if there were an actual college course that showed you all of this stuff, how to create an actual business project where you're learning by doing it, you're not just learning the theory, you know what I'm saying? You're learning it and then you're doing it as the semester progresses. I think this course would fill up in the first minute that registration opened up honestly and people would be glad to take out a loan for at least 15k most students as you guys know it's 50 to 100k but yeah so basically if all this did was end up making you 5k a month would that be worth 15k i think obviously um you know if this allowed you to quit your job how much is that worth blah 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 you know <laughs> Some people say getting free from their job is worth a million dollars, you know? Even if it makes you 500 bucks a month, like an extra 500 bucks a month, like psh, barely anyone has that. That's so special. You know, if uh, if just this course taught you how to find winning products that you can launch at any time, you know, in the future, now into the future, would that be worth that 15K college course? I think probably. Basically, for creating my Amazon school, 
Um, I had two options. I could do like the cheap way, get in everyone, um, but that wouldn't really incentivize me to you know really focus on success rate. Or I could make it a little bit higher investment, a little bit higher tuition to focus on getting students more success. Um, you know what's what's having a small business worth to you again? Five ten five. 10k 25k most people pay you know 10 or no 50 to a hundred thousand dollars for regular college and after that you have to go find a job i think it's like two-thirds of people that that uh, after they pay for a degree and they get it they're they're underemployed if it's like two-thirds of college degrees are underemployed with this Let's just say you work on this for four years, you have a great chance of having a full-time income, I'm just saying. Um, so obviously you can see why people have paid me 2K for one-on-one -on -one mentoring, because it's obviously it's not a cost, it's an investment in your business. Um, in fact, I'm just gonna be honest, <clears throat> and I put this slide here to, to keep the big picture in mind. Um, investing in a Amazon cash flow business is actually one of the best investments that you can make. Um, that's why bigger, bigger uh, investments, bigger uh, investors portfolios are now buying up FBA Amazon stores as as digital assets, as digital properties, because they realize that Amazon's uptrending, and it's so good cash flow. Any entrepreneur, any investor loves cash flow. So this business is such good cash flow, and compared to like real estate, like rental properties or stocks you'd be lucky to one to two X your money in one to two years. You'd be lucky to 10 X your money. With this, you can 10 X your money relatively very soon. And what's unheard of in a, unheard of in any other type of investment pretty much is 100 Xing your money. So my little brother, he got started uh, with inventory with a loan from my dad for 1500 and he's profited from that over 300,000 and that's under five years so that's 200 X it's just it's just stupid it's like you know there's there's no quicker way to flip your money other than fresh white bricks coming in from cocaine from Colombia <laughs> no quicker way you know and this is completely legal uh, so you know, if you were to put in 5K to your business and potentially turn that into 100,000 uh, over the next two years, would it be worth it? I think obviously yes. Compare that to like uh, stocks or real estate, you're never gonna even 5 exit, you know, in three years. You know, never, never, never. So this is honestly why, um, why, like I said, big portfolios and, and, and big investors uh, big money is coming into Amazon to buy up these stores um, because the cash flow is just so clean, so consistent. Um, and this is great because two years, three years, four years, five years, you can sell your business for 20 to 30x the monthly profit. So if your business is making um, profiting like 100k a, a year, you could sell that for. 200 250k up front boom to a buyer and many 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 amazon fba uh, people have done that i've had a guy on my podcast named um named uh, nate ginsburg and within three years he sold his amazon store for nine hundred and fifty thousand. so that's a really cool thing is um you're building an asset just like a home that you can either keep renting out for cash flow or you can flip it. Boom, come up, big payday. I wanna go invest in building my own school or you know, I just wanna blah, blah, blah. Invest it in whatever. You can sell this asset. Funny, I just wanna have an example. Yep. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Nice, wow. It's definitely possible. You don't have to make crazy numbers in sales, like $100,000 a month per sale in order for you to be attractive as an option for an investor. Even 
dollar a month sales and very attractive for investors. Yep. Yeah, and actually there is a module in the course that I didn't even put in this presentation, but it's about how to sell your business and um, how to optimize from the very beginning, uh, optimize for sale. Actually, Nick Ginsburg uh, was a speaker at Nomad Summit this year uh, about that. Um, so I, I summarized his whole presentation. Um, and I'll actually, I'll, I'll give you guys uh, Nick Ginsburg's contact. He specialized in help helping FBA businesses optimize everything to prepare for the maximum sale value. Um, little tips like having your accounting you know, dialed in since day one, your profit and loss. And there's a there's a software I'm going to tell you guys about. Um, they actually get members of uh, members of my course get three months free. Uh, it's called Seller Board. It's the most accurate profit and loss um, software that tracks profit and loss from the very beginning. Um, so they actually reached out to me and they they wanted to give everyone three months free. Um, so you guys get that. Um, so basically, um, you know, 5K a semester would be very worth it. I think this would this, uh, this would sell out very quick. Uh, this class would uh, this classroom would fill up very quick if it were 5K. Um, but obviously, we want this to be available to someone who's actually in college who may not have that, um, or someone in any country, or someone who maybe lost their job or is you know maybe in a pinch right now. So that's why we're not gonna, not gonna do 5K. Um, not even 3K or 2K, 1K. We're gonna make the accelerator 1K. One little measly K just for now though, guys, just for now. And then as I grow my school, as I get more testimonials, everything, obviously it'll become more like a real university um, in the future, you know, have retreats and, and all this thing. But even better, we wanted to make it even easier so you can uh, pay for it potentially with your profits so that's why we're doing something ridiculous you can break it up into six months six months break it up so very stupid but just for this first time guys we want to be stupid nice stupid nice um because of this lockdown because you know everyone is even if you're struggling we want to make it even possible for more more people no matter where you're from, no matter what your situation, we're gonna do everyone, just for right now, everyone who's on this, half off. So stupid. That's what it is, guys. Or you can even split that into three payments. So we're trying to make it a no-brainer for all you guys who um, you know, have been following and they're here from day one who wanna get going now. We wanna make it just, okay, boom, it's right there. Um, payment should be putting the link in the chat. <clears throat> oh yeah, bonus number six. Right away, to make it even closer to free, I consider this basically free. Uh, you're gonna save 150 bucks on Jungle Scout right away, so that takes 150 bucks off of it. Um, they reached out, they partnered with me, uh, gave an exclusive discount. I have my own landing page with them, so. Basically free, half a K. That's what it is. That's it's got to be worth my time. All the coaches' times. We're doing it uh, as as narrow as cheap as we can um, during this first round only. As I said, it's gonna be closer to regular university price uh, when this opens back up. But it is gonna close. Um, it's gonna close on the twenty. Okay, go ahead. Even a 10-year-old can just follow it. Just like Riley 
showed you in these uh, checklists. So then you do this, and you just check it out. The more you do this, you just check it out. Just like uh, you have on calendar, just follow that, and you will, if you follow that to the letter, we cannot guarantee you success, but one thing that we can guarantee you is that within 90 days, you will have your product launched on Amazon. And if you do your research the way we teach you, then you will be uh, selecting a product that makes sense, that has a lot of uh, profit margin, and ultimately, your chance of success are that much higher. So this is a chance that, uh, at first that you will not find anyone at the price, as you said. If one of you talk to me, some that for $3,000, you know one no one is doing that, the information is really crazy, good, and Riley is legit. He's been crushing it on, on Amazon for the past, uh, I don't know how, how long, five years. So uh, if yep. you want to find a better partnership, better coach to, to uh, teach you, to guide you, than Riley and me. I'll be here to help you guys. So this this course really is a no brainer. Plus five hundred dollars for this is really, I mean, someone's yeah. giving away for free. Yeah. Because and, and that's the price I always uh, agree to give it for that amount because of what's going on right now. I want to give everyone a chance, uh, especially people stuck at home. Uh, a lot of people have lost their job or it's difficult financially because of the uh, crisis right now. So we said, how can we make it as simple as possible for people not only to to have an amazing chance of success by following a step-by-step uh, game plan, but also by making it almost a no-brainer. You cannot find a course like this anywhere else. So this is a, the best shot at not only starting an online business, but also taking advantage of the greatest single opportunity of the decade, which is Amazon FBA. Mm-hmm. So this is your, your chance to shine, guys, seriously. Yep. Yeah. Um... Yeah, Amazon, it's uh, it's it's just starting. The internet's just starting. So if people that say that Amazon is like too late, it's like, okay, do you know that we're the first, we're the baby internet generation? Like, what? It's still gonna be an opportunity for our for our kids. You know, there's selling saying that Amazon is too late is like saying that business is done. <laughs> you know, Amazon is just where business happens. Um, really cool bonus and um. Payment took the lead on this one. A portion of the proceeds are going to go to a charity. Um, so to get the technology into the hands of underprivileged underprivileged kids in uh, in Thailand, underprivileged schools, so they can learn some digital skills. Very cool thing. Um, of course, um, most of the proceeds are going to be going to uh, hire employees for our school to build our uh, build our school create more conscious entrepreneurs, which for the long term will give back more to charity and make the world a better place. Creating more conscious conscious entrepreneurs who can make the world a better place and do good in the world. Basically, um, all right, this is it. We're pretty much at the end, guys. Just want to reinforce. Um, you got two options. Stick with the same or make this micro commitment by enrolling in this. It's going to be your micro commitment towards actually getting this done. That's why we wanted to format it the way that we wanted to. So it's like it's a commitment to actually get it done. Do you want to st- stick with the old situation, no passive income, or create your, pa- your next passive income? Also, bonus 30 day guarantee. So if you go through all the videos in month one, all the checklists in month one, complete the homework, complete the assignments, and hit the milestones, uh, and attend the Zoom calls. Basically, if you enroll in this course, you're, you're taking this college course for a month, and then after a while, after a month, um, on day 29, if you decide that uh, you're not getting value from this, then uh, simply email us, and we'll give you a refund if you feel like you're not getting value. That's how confident we are that this uh, this course is... This program is legit and uh, stacked. Um, so honestly, the real, the reality is, if you do half of anything that I told you today, it'd be totally worth five hundred bucks. If you end up making a hundred bucks a month, you know it's worth it. You know, because you're gonna pay off your education uh, within five months. You know, how often uh, does a does a graduate of a regular college pay off their student loans? In under a year, I think never. <laughs> I think never. Yeah, it's a 30, 30 year plan, and oh my god, the 
That's a whole nother wormhole. Don't need to keep talking about that. Uh, anyways, guys, um, traditional jobs, traditional opportunities. I've never seen something like this um, where you get, you get a, a, not only is it a business school, but it's a business school where you're actually creating a business during the course and you have a very good potential to, after this course, have a passive income asset that is actually working. And passive income is the best thing ever. It's the first step to enlightenment <laughs> and, and all that stuff. So here's just a little visual. You know, that was the old me on the left. I was in my corporate job. I was worried about hitting quota. You know, I was trading my time for money. Now I'm on the right. Now I make money 24 seven. I make money while I sleep because I have an asset just like a rental property that pays me over and over. But this is a digital asset way quicker to build. You can build this digital house in 90 days compared to like renovating, uh, building a flip property, putting a hundred K cash down and then renovating it for 50 K and then renting it out for $500 a month profit. Huh? Much easier to build a virtual store that you can collect the cash flow for as long as you want and then flip it. And um, yeah, this is me. I'm chilling. I wake up whenever I want. Um, I go to bed whenever I want. My my daily, weekly schedule is totally controlled by me and, and that is the most valuable thing, honestly. I travel whenever I want. When someone invi invites me to do something fun, I say yes. I never have said Oh, I'm, I'm I'm busy. I see. I got this thing. Or I got this job. This manager. So it is the new life. I think this um, this it's just the beginning of this of this wave and creating an internet passive income. It's still the very beginning of it, and it's, it's very special to do this. This is something very special. I think like the vast majority of Americans do not have any recurring income, so it's something very special. So there's the link to join the accelerator. It's going to fill up, so don't put it off. If you know you want to get into FBA, you already know what to do. This is literally everything. I've, I've thrown the book at you guys to try to help you guys during this crisis. Everyone that's been following me for a long time, this has uh, been years in the making. This would easily be a 14K semester at a regular college that, would, uh, that you'd come out with with income at the end of it so a couple reasons if you haven't uh, enrolled yet are you too busy I, I would say if you're too busy from your job that's the reason why you need to do this so keep in mind guys we all ha started with jobs you're gonna have to do this nights and weekends nights and weekends spare time there's no other way you can't there's no other way so you're gonna have to sacrifice now to build something on the side where you can eventually quit your job okay if you're too busy that's the reason why you need to build something if you have no experience let me tell you my mom my mom can barely use her iphone i'm telling you my mom is not a tech whiz mom she's a regular mom she launched a product on amazon and she makes one to two k and she does nothing she just cooks just collects the deposits so if my mom can do it uh, if you have no cash, and if, if you have no cash, I would say again, that's the reason why you should do this. You need you need to start making a side hustle. You need to start making more money. You need to start trading your time. Stop trading your time for money. Build something that you can scale. That being said, if you you need cash to start this business, at least a few grands. So save up your money and then come join us for the next round. If you don't have money, but that's the reason why you need to start investing and stop spending. Um, you know, and I, oh yeah, I also forgot to say, <clears throat> sell your car, sell your cat, sell your, sell your goldfish, sell your boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, you know, um, do what you need to do. Sell, sell, sell your clothes, um, you know, become a tutor. Um, do some dog walking, um, go through your old baseball cards and flip those and come up with like $3,000, I would say, is around the minimum you're going to want to invest into this business. Come up with that and then figure out a way to come up with it. Sell some stuff, guys. Sell your, sell your 
whatever you have laying around, get on Craigslist, get on OfferUp and flip some stuff so you can take that and go flip some stuff on Amazon that keeps flipping automatically for you. Go to garage sale, do do some flipping, you know, whatever. Make it happen. This is honestly the funnest thing I've ever done. Um, oh yeah, and I'm not special. I'm not good at programming, guys. Uh, I'm not good at uh, revolution, creating revolutionary products. I'm not a genius. I'm just a regular college kid. I'm not a genius. Um, but I can still do this simple business model. Anyone can do this, guys. One more time, this gets you everything you need to know about product research, sourcing, inside seller central, branding secrets, product research secrets, uh, PBC secrets, automation, and then of course the weekly mastermind with me, your your professor. Uh, zero to launch checklists, calendar, private mastermind and private group chat, PDF templates, my sourcing agent's contact, which even if you were already full force into uh, starting your own FBA business, just getting that is it worth <laughs> at least 5K. Um, so, um, also, if you're if you're on the fence, you're not you're thinking about and eh, now later, we're doing a fast action steal for the first 10 students, a one-on-one -on -one kickoff call. It's kind of like office hours, you know. I can't do office. I can't do one-on-one -on -one calls for everyone. That's you know. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to be on the phone. I don't want to be on Zoom 24 hours a day. Uh, but to just give you that little, boop boop boop, um, kickoff calls for uh, with your professor for the first 10 people who join. Normally, I charge clients 200 bucks for consult for consultation calls through Upwork through my agency. So, that's another 200 bucks. Um, all right, there you guys go. Already said, basically free. And uh, thanks for attending. Here's your free gift at the very end. livinglife.com slash 100k dash ebook is the uh, case study of one of my crushing products. You can download that for free right now. That's basically it. You guys already know where to go to sign up. And um, yeah. Thanks for thanks for attending my virtual lecture. You guys are free to go to lunch break. Stick around if you want to ask some questions, but uh, thank you. Thank you very much. We'll stay for another five, 10 minutes for any questions you guys might have, so don't be shy. Yep. Okay, Jack. No, uh, mine, you don't need to be to have your own strong facility because that's a beautiful thing about Amazon FBA. All you have to do is just once you've sourced your product, you send it to one of the Amazon warehouses. If you're targeting the US market, then you send it to the US. If you're targeting the European market, you send it to Europe. If you're from Australia, you send it to uh, one of the warehouses in, in Australia, and so on and so forth. Uh, the bank, that depends on a country per country basis. We have a list of which countries it's uh, very straightforward. In some countries, it's a little bit, it's not as straightforward, but you can still, there's ways around that to, to register your bank account. So you'll get the details of all of that uh, I can, um, inside the course, but you can also very easily um, Google it online. Or I can, uh, you can just message me later and I'll, and I'll send that to you later. To answer, to answer your questions uh, about the, uh, the fee, the beautiful thing about, uh, about Amazon FBA is because it's your business, you decide what price you wanna sell it. So uh, if, if you see that this is affecting your, your margins, you can just increase the price of your, of your product, but also you'd have to increase the, the perceived value. And that's things we, we teach you inside the branding se section and the bundling. So uh, you, you're not going to be uh, competing on price, but you will be uh, uh, increasing the value of your, of your product. And this way yeah. competition becomes irrelevant. Yeah. And so I'll, I'll, I'll make a note about the FBA, FBA increasing their Amazon, increasing their fees. Um, in the future, as they just did recently with Amazon Associates. Um, it's a little bit different because um, Amazon kind of, they created all these income traffic streams through Associates and then they cut, they cut, which is, which is really looks bad on Amazon. Um, but here's the deal, you know, people ask me, Riley, what about Amazon, um, you know, squeezing, squeezing margins and squeezing seller out, sellers out and coming out with their own competing products, which they've been doing for years with Amazon Basics. 
my mindset is is big picture my mindset is not worrying about things you can't control that's that's the truth hey if amazon wants to cut fba margins in half for sellers there's going to be a huge seller backlash and we're going to do our marketing elsewhere we're going to take our business elsewhere all right um this we're we're digital marketers you know that's what we're digital marketers big picture um so if this is and amazon is just the uh best first step for someone to get into the di- to digital marketing as a career as a long-term uh, career um if you want to be of course um or it can just be a side income to to go pursue your dream which i i also i hope you do of course but worrying about things you can't control i don't i don't think about that i um think about things that are in your control i don't think amazon is going to want to disappoint sellers that would i don't think they want to do that you know it's a partnership um but part of being an entrepreneur from the get-go is being able to adapt we're always going to be adapting to there's always changes there's always new models there's always tips and tricks so when something happens when there's an obstacle you adapt so that's my answer <clears throat> yeah, um, Wade just said he got hit hard by the associates thing. So, um, I'm not worried. You know, we can't control it. So, what you're gonna do, and maybe the reason why you're here is you're adapting. That's part of the fun. That's part of playing the sports of this free market capitalist society. Oh, boom! I just took a hit. All right, boom. Where can I come back with my job? Boom, boom, boom. Um. That's part of the game, you know. If Amazon comes out with something that sellers don't like, sellers are gonna take their business elsewhere. Um, so don't worry, you know. Basically, if you're worrying, 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 what about this big bad monster? What you gonna do in the future? Just like that's not my mindset, honestly. You gotta have a more positive mindset. Um, choose to open a certain product. Okay, when you're opening tabs, what makes you choose to open that in the tab? <clears throat> It's something that, on first glance, meets the private label criteria that you might be able that you might be interesting interested in selling. So, am I am I even interested? In, is that even cool to me? One, and number two, does it fit the the quick qu- private label criteria? Can it fit inside a shoebox in general? And uh, is it between ten and fifty bucks? Is it private labelable? Oh yeah, um, someone says, <clears throat> do bad customer reviews or experience get you banned from Amazon? Um, does a couple or say a few? No, a couple or a few bad experiences, you're totally fine. But if your product is defective, um, what will happen is your, your customers will start returning it and after your return threshold, uh, after your return rate hits a certain certain threshold, you'll get an email from Amazon that says, "Hey, we're getting a complaint for this specific issue. Please fix it." And um, you simply f- fix it with your next inventory uh, batch, and then you click, you let it's a system. You click fixed, and then it's back live again. Um, and of course, if it persists, then getting banned is not your uh, your worst worry. Your w- worst worry is negative reviews. Uh, and yes. Reviews are a huge thing. If your product breaks, if pro- people are having issues, they're gonna leave negative reviews, and that's usually the first thing to kill your listing. For example, once once it hits uh, falls to three stars, your sales will fall by like thirty percent. That's why, obviously, you gotta come out with a solid product that uh, works as advertised. Um, Jacob says, "How negotiating bull is price on Alibaba uh, or other?" Um, you can, yeah, go ahead. Uh, it, it really is, is negotiable. Also depends on the product, depends on, on a lot of factors, but a lot of time you don't want to just be negotiating on price. You also want to negotiate on the actual material, the, uh, the terms, uh, delays and all that, because there's a lot of things that come into play. And, um, also you have to have a good approach when you contact your supplier, you get a, you get a and that's, Part of what we're going to be also teaching you inside the actual course, we tell exactly how to approach the suppliers, how to phrase your, your, your request so they take you seriously. But to answer your question, 
price is only one factor and a lot of people make the mistake on focusing only on price and there's a lot of factors coming to play as i said not just price but also the the actual material the um the uh the terms uh especially if you're if you're uh placing an order and the busy uh, time of the year just around uh q4 or just before chinese new year sometimes they will uh you can they will tell you sorry especially if your order is too too uh, too low they will tell you, sorry, we don't have time. We cannot, uh, you know, uh, fulfill your order until, say, after Chinese New Year, which is usually until March or April. And then that's something you can tell them, listen, I can take the price you're telling me, but if you can, uh, you can, you can bump me up on your, on your list and you can, uh, you can fulfill my order, say, before, before that. So there's a lot of things that you can negotiate. Don't just uh, focus on only price because price is only one aspect of negotiating with the, uh, with the, uh, the supply and all times if you if you negotiate too much on the price then they will they will say yes they will give you the say whatever one dollar fifty cent discount but they will uh, uh, um, what's going to happen is that they will give you inferior material and as an Amazon business do you really want to have a product that is made badly or poorly no because that's going to kill your business so a lot of time it's better to to not get to I mean to to pay to not insist too much on discounts on pricing but but on the on the material on the quality because that's what's going to really really uh make or break your product yep 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 um <clears throat> yeah but you know as as in business and life all things are negotiable uh so yeah i'm gonna clap to sync my audio real quick um why it says, have you had issues with uh, reporting issues on Amazon from competitors? Um, not sure what you mean by that. Go ahead and clarify. I guess we're saying there's a lot of time there's some unethical competitors that will just flag your product or have some some of the friends buy your product and and file uh, you know bad reviews. That's something that unfortunately I've seen happen quite frequently in China. Uh, they will. Uh, they have crazy operation in China. You have buildings like five-story buildings. You have 200 people each uh, running, say, um, 20, 30 SQs, and all they do is they just try to go after their competitors. So that can happen, but it's not common. And now that's something that Amazon is also uh, tracking down and against unethical reporting, because that's destroying uh, the, the trust of buyers and sellers as well. Yep. Um, let's see. Um, and again, worrying about things out of your control, I think, is, is a waste of time. Um, Jacob says, how many hours on average per product launch uh, from start to finish now that you guys have experience? Um, of course, everyone is different, but uh, I would say part time, full time um, for you know, it depends what you mean by launch. You mean coming up with the next idea from scratch. Um, you know, part time, full time, um, sixty to two to two to three months. You know, twenty hours a week, two to two to three months. I think that part of the, I think that the longest in terms of time is finding the right supplier. Because speaking from experience, I've been visited many, many, many factories. They will tell you, yes, we can do that. Yes, we can do that. They agree to everything. And then when it comes time to actually sign the contracts and the money, they say, oh, sorry, the, uh, the price of material has increased or there's a misunderstanding. You cannot do that. So a lot of time you will, you think you found the right uh, supplier only to find out that the supplier is not able to, to fulfill your order because in China, in Chinese culture, it doesn't look good for them to say no. Even if they cannot do it, they will say yes. But the, a yes doesn't mean yes, yes. That's one of the things that you sometimes you will find, you will, you will learn the hard way. And that's something that I personally experienced and learned after living in China for five years. So again, the, it's very difficult to, to answer the question, how long does it take? Because it's a very, there's a lot of factors, but the, the, the biggest factor is, is the supplier. Is your supplier really the right one? And if yes, then it can be very smooth. Within within a month, you can negotiate on on the on the terms, on the price, on the materials, and you can start um, producing the your product. But if in the factory, you know, lets you down at the last minute, then that's a difference. So you have to restart the whole process again. So it all depends. Yep. 
Um, Wyatt says he bought the course. Awesome. Talk soon. Um, let's see. Is it possible to register uh, to sell on Amazon if I'm from Russia? How would I get money from Amazon? Good question. So in the course, I cover this. Yes, you can if you're from Russia. Um, pretty much any country, you can register as a seller. Um, and you get money uh, in your local currency through a pay in your account. It's like a virtual bank account uh, that Amazon um, partners with. So it's in course. Uh, you go to payinear.com and you sign up for your account. Amazon pays you, put, puts money at every biweekly automatically into your pay in air account. Um, and then you can use that in your local currency. That's what I've never set it up myself, obviously, because I use USD. But uh, all the Amazon sellers use Payoneer. Jacob, to answer your questions, yes, currently uh, sales are through the roof. But keep in mind that more and more people, because they're stuck at home, they're finding uh, and experiencing and enjoying the, uh, the convenience of buying from home. And even when this whole lockdown is finished, a lot of people will still prefer to, to buy from home because let's face it, if you want something, you go to the mall, it takes you two hours, looking for a parking, finding a product, lining up at, at the cashier. A lot of people are too busy. They just don't want to do that. They prefer to get it at home, a couple of clicks, and they get it the next day. So even once all is said and done, you will see a much higher number of people still buying online. And that as a result will Will, uh, will increase sales for everyone. And that's a new norm because it's gonna be the new norm because Amazon sales are gonna be exploding. Like last year, they did $280 billion uh, in sales. This year, they're gonna crash that. They're gonna, my personal feeling is that they will not only uh, go over 300, but maybe even $350 billion next, I mean, this year alone, maybe 400 because of what's going on. Everybody's stuck at home and buying things. Like personally, the other day, we tried to go to the mall to buy some some basic necessities, we cannot find it. We have to go to Amazon. So uh, yeah, people are getting, more and more people are gonna be buying from Amazon and that's an amazing opportunity. Yep. Uh, Lena says, should I operate as a company or a private person? Good question. You can do either. You can, uh, when you sign up for Amazon, they're gonna ask, okay, how should I tax you? And put in either your private tax information or your business tax information. Um, so up to you. And uh, you can change it later inside of your Seller Central account if you decide to change, uh, you know, how it's taxed. If you want to transfer ownership, basically, between personal to your LLC or whatever. Uh, Jacob says, um, you said you, made, you found a unique idea on page 50. Wouldn't it be uh, easier or better to ask the manufacturer to uh, make some changes. Yes, absolutely. Um, it's a combination of both. So what I do is I go into to PowerPoint and I make some simple drawings. Arrow, make it, make it like a third grader could understand it. Can you do this plus this equals this? And uh, I simply send that message and to suppliers and I say, can you do this? And some people say might say yes, maybe no. Um, so yeah, it's a combination. Um, some people can say yes, but we have to make a new mold. It's gonna be 5K for the new mold. Eh, okay, maybe not. Maybe ask someone else, can you do this without a new mold? Can you do this simply, cheaply? So it's a combination of those two things. Yep, thank you. Um, Nathan says, if I'm buying Viral Launch, what package? Um, you need to get the uh, pro package. I'm not sure. I actually switched to Jungle Scouts. That's what I'm using and recommending now. The um, the extension plus uh, Jungle Scout package, and the link to that to get the uh, course discount is inside of my uh, inside of my uh, spreadsheet. Okay, cool. Wyatt got the uh, product validation. Cool, Ob awesome. He wants to hear what I have about his, uh, what I have to say about his idea. Uh, sounds good. Um, obviously, about product validation, that's 
good time to address that. Um, oh, it's private message. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, obviously, I can't look at everyone's, uh, you know, sp spreadsheet and anal and analyze it and uh, for everyone. You know, I don't want to be again on the Zoom call, but we're offering that as a bonus, uh, as an upsell. Inside, you can basically uh, buy one-on-one -on -one consultation consultations uh, from me. Um, I have a life to live. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to be on the phone every day. Uh, it takes a lot of brain energy, and so. But if you do want the, uh, basically pay me through my agency uh, to be your one-on-one -on -one consult. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Um, on the uh, on the group calls, of course, on the weekly group calls. You can feel free to share your product ideas. Um, you know, if you're going for something, you know, obviously, um, we encourage not for everyone else not to totally rip you off and steal your idea. So you know, let's be you know, let's be reasonable. But you're free to ask um, product validation questions in the weekly group calls, which will be about an hour. But if you want the up to an hour one-on-one uh, -on -one product validations, we're offering that uh, as consultation. As, as extra but I can't just you know do that for for free for everyone that just wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be sustainable Jacob um, to answer your questions I would recommend that you focus on one brand at a time one color at a time in order not to spread yourself too thin and uh, just keep it simple uh, because it's it sounds easy but it takes a lot of time to uh, an effort to, uh, to build a brand you want to do it the proper way, especially in the beginning when you're starting. If you have experience and you have a team behind you, then it's a different story. But if you're just by yourself, a one-man band, then I would recommend sticking to one brand at a time, one product at a time. The, what I've seen people do that are successful and that we did as well when we were launching the first brand in China, is our goal was to launch one new product uh, every, uh, every six months within the first brand. So within the first, you would have two products within the same brand, and after that, expand. That's the, uh, the best way to go, uh, especially if you're starting out uh, with no, uh, not, ex not that much experience and you're just by yourself. Now, if you have a team, that's a different story. Yep. You can definitely have multiple brands, but again, focus on one at a time. Your goal should be, if you're very aggressive, uh, launch one, uh, one new brand per year. And if you have a team, one brand for every six six months. Yeah. Yeah. And that being said, uh, good point. You can hire uh, Amazon uh, freelancers to to be your employees, to be your team right away. Um, so. And inside the course, I share my uh, there's a list of top uh, seller central freelancers slash experts uh, on Upwork. Um, and uh, yeah, so the uh, freelancers and VAs, there's a list inside the course that I, that I share, and uh, that's a part of a part of any business, of course. Um, hiring employees, the, the, the last part of the question, Jacob, uh, whether you need multiple different seller accounts within one seller account, you can have multiple brands, but. Yeah, from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, Riley, is that you can only have one brand, I mean one account, if you want to have more than one account, then you can ask uh, Amazon for permission. And um, so yeah, so uh, you would, uh, if you want to have multiple brands in the same account, you can do that. That's easy to do. But if you want to open a different account altogether, then you would need to ask Amazon uh, for permission, or you can if you get a business partner, just do one under your name, one under their name. Uh, yes, correct. Uh, you're just gonna have one account, uh, and you're gonna have two brands. So you simply go to you know brand, new brand. It's a separate storefront. Very easy. My brother has two brands. Many people have separate brands. It just means separate storefront and name, you know, brand name under the the tag where it says brand name on the listing page. Uh, but just one Amazon wants to keep it one account per person um, yeah um, and then about getting reviews from family and friends I have a detailed everything about reviews 2020 uh, in the course and 
do not get reviews from family or friends anymore. Amazon's algorithm somehow knows it. So uh, I, I tell you the other ways to get reviews, but I've stopped doing family and friends. Avoid Facebook friends. Avoid people who have the same last name. Avoid people who you've met in person because it's theorized that they know that you've logged into your Amazon account from the same IP address. So if, if you've shared the same Wi-Fi connection, um, it's theorized that that factors into their algorithm. Um, you know, it, it makes sense. It's fair. You know, don't get re Amazon just doesn't want you to get reviews from your friends. Awesome, Wyatt. Cheers from Portland, Oregon. Awesome, PN Dub for life. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. We're going to be kicking off with the first uh, call soon. Details will be uh, in the Facebook group. So registration is going to be open for um, a number of days, and then it's going to close down, and then it will be closed for and until we decide to open it back up. And it will cap out at that 30 people. Welcome, welcome. Getting enrollments. Awesome. I'm going to have you guys on board. Excited. Uh, so, Jacob, basically, do you offer more help? Um, so, there is an upsell, yes, for a consulting package. It's a weekly call one on one, and it's, it's basically. It's about double the price of the regular tuition. Yeah, I can briefly tell you the, uh, the details about, about the one-on-one -on -one call, um, sorry, mentorship. Uh, let me see, what was that asked? Oh, Jacob, okay. So, um, it's gonna be uh, daily text messaging with Riley and Skype chat, uh, weekly Thursday one-on-one -on -one advising calls, weekly Monday text message check-ins, Personal one-on-one -on -one accountability buddy with directly with Riley, as well as um, there will be a set specific weekly uh, call schedule and structure. First week you will have your kickoff call. Week one to week four you will, it will be about product research advising. Week five to week seven is going to be about product development, sourcing, and launch strategies. Week eight to ten branding, sourcing, product development. Week eleven and twelve listing optimization and launch. And yeah, so we'll really w uh, work with you directly one-on-one -on -one to ensure that you're, uh, you're making progress every step of the way from, from zero to having your product launch within that time frame of the course to 90 days or 12 weeks. Jacob, yeah, okay. Uh, do people post and interact every day? People will, be, will all be interacting every day in the group chat and the Facebook group. Um, but if you'd like a one-on-one -on -one call weekly, then you purchase the one-on-one -on -one, uh, advising package. If you wanna, um, if you wanna get that, but every day, uh, payment and I will be checking the Facebook group and group chat uh, twice a day. Um, again, we don't want to be glued to our phones 24/7, but we're both gonna check in and, and answer questions and go back and forth um, in the morning and at night. And we're gonna have a lot of coverage because uh, we're gonna be able to cover it. Uh, around the clock. I'm, I'm based in Canada right now, Riley's in Asia. So 24-7 uh, will have uh, both of us cover it uh, four times a day. Yep. All right, All right one more question. We're gonna be the lucky one for the last question. All right, looks like that's it. All right, it's a wrap then. Elena, thank right, you so thank much. You thank you so much. Um, you know, while it's still open, Tag a friend, you know. It's uh, it can it can always be fun uh, to do it with a buddy. So share this with your friends before it uh, before it fills up. So. And one reason we're keeping this uh, small number is because we want to make sure that everybody in the group gets gets results. We want to work with you as much as possible, even though within the group, so we can we can answer all of your questions. We don't want to have like 500 people in the course and and most people will not get anything out of it. That's why we're keeping it low so that. People are going to be there. They're going to be very motivated, and we will do everything we can to ensure that we answer the question on time and to make sure that they succeed. So this is why it's, this is such a great opportunity because even though it's not going to be one-on-one, -on -one, it's almost as if it was one-on-one -on -one because we will do everything to make sure you guys succeed. 
And as I, as Ryan said in the beginning, our goal is to get 100%. 100% of you guys wanted to not only complete the course, but also to get the result. And the result we, we want is for you to get your product launched within 90 days on Amazon, going from zero to, to a product live within 90 days. And that's something highly achievable. You can just follow the uh, step-by-step uh, game plan we have, and you do the daily task, the weekly assignment, and the monthly um, uh, monthly targets. So this is your chance, guys. Cool. Yep. And obviously, the if you do want the one-on-one, -on -one, that'll be available, like I said. So we still have a good amount of people on. Um, looks like not everyone has joined yet. Last time, last chance to answer questions for me to answer your questions. Um, if you plan on joining like later today or, or tomorrow, let me know in the chat. If, you, if you're planning on joining, you just haven't done it this second, let me know. Uh, last chance for questions. Going, going, gone. Keep in mind, we will be closing this once we get 30 people, so you don't want to miss out. Yeah. And obviously, I'm going to be, uh, um, you know, promoting this uh, until it fills up. So, oh, yeah. or, or until it fills up, or until we hit the start day, which will be um, in the coming days. Whichever comes first. All right, all right. Talk soon, guys that have joined. Um, guys that have not yet, uh, feel free to contact with questions. And um, namaste, Colton Cop. Thank you very much. Have a uh, have a great uh, have a great week. Oh, I was sharing all that time. Okay. <laughs> now you can see my face. Okay. All right. I'll go ahead and end the meeting. Um, all right. Chat soon, guys.